Hey friends, and in this video, we are gonna go over AWS Code Whisperer, which could mean this is the end for GitHub's Copilot. Code Whisperer is trained on billions of lines of code that will be able to pre-generate code that you may use in your application. Now this generative code can be functions and classes, or it can either be comments for your application. It can range anywhere from beginner to advanced topics, and it can get you going extremely fast, whether you already have a pre-existing application or a brand new application. Now the main IDEs that Code Whisperer works for is Visual Studio Code, IntelliJ, PyCharm, WebStorm, and it will work within the console of AWS itself. So if you're going to be coding in an EC2 environment, S3 environment, or even a Lambda environment, Code Whisperer will work there as well. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into code so we can see Code Whisperer in action. Okay, so I already have a application built with a main.py file. If we open the main.py file, we can see that there's nothing inside. And the very first thing we are going to do is is go down here into our extensions button and let's go ahead and just type in code whisper. When you type in code whisper, you will see the AWS toolkit. That's what we want to install. The AWS toolkit comes with a couple different applications inside, but we are going to make sure that we download the Code Whisper. All right, if you've already downloaded Code Whisper before, it's going to set up and do it automatically. If you have never used Code Whisper before, it's going to ask you to be able to create a AWS Builder ID. Now, the AWS Builder ID is completely free, so just follow through the instructions. It's gonna send you a code on your IDE, and then you need to type that code into the browser to register an account. But once you do that, you will get Code Whisper for free on Visual Studio Code. All right, so I've already done this, so I have Code Whisper already installed. So let's go ahead and see Code Whisper in action. I'm gonna start by saying class person, and I'm gonna say a colon and then enter. You can see right here that there's already some grayish tint to some code coming up of def initialize self name and age, where we assign name and age to this object of person. And we have a string argument that just returns the name and the age. Now this is getting pre-generated using AWS Code Whisper, And we can accept these code changes by pressing tab. Now, that's all you need to do to get using um, Code Whisper fast. Press tab and all the code is automatically added to your file. All right, now let's create a new class of student that inherits person. Code Whisper somehow already knew what I was going to be building, so we can press tab here where we are passing person into student, pressing enter. Now, immediately it may not show you any advice. If you want to see Code Whisper's advice, no matter what you're doing, you can press option C if you are on a Mac or Alt-C if you're on a Windows machine. So right here, it's giving me student of person. I'm gonna press tab here where we pass in name, age, and grade. And this is sometimes where you might see discrepancies in Code Whisper. So instead of grade, I want to change to year. And now that's a common thing of Code Whisper is it's going to give you a lot of pre-generated code, but it might not be exactly what you want. So definitely feel free to copy over the code and then change what you need. Code Whisper now knows that year is inside student instead of grade, so you shouldn't run into any more issues when dealing with students. But there's a lot of times where I'll just accept whatever Code Whisperer sends me and then I'll modify it. It still saves an extreme amount of time. And now with a student, let's go ahead and create a class professor, which also inherits person. And inside here, we want to just say it's gonna be the exact same thing, but the professor, I want to have a subject instead of a department. So I'm going to say, yes, I want to now inherit everything from person again. So we have student and professor inheriting from person, but instead of department, I want this to be subject. All right, this is getting super exciting. We've already created three classes using Code Whisper, but now let's go ahead and create a class that uses all of these combined. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new class called school. And it's saying university by default. I'm gonna be using school, but that's insane that Code Whisper even knew that I wanted to build something similar to a university or school. So I'm gonna say class school, 
And now inside here, it's saying, hey, we should initialize name where we're already gonna have students and professors. Now it's telling us four different solutions are added to this. We can go ahead and click to the right where we're gonna see Code Whisper get modified based on what we want to do. It's giving multiple different ideas or suggestions for our code. So I'm gonna to go to the very first one and accept this by pressing tab. And instead of name, I just want to remove name. And instead of this, I wanna pass in students and teachers. And immediately it's giving me more suggestions. I'm gonna press tab to accept these changes, but then I'm just gonna delete their old requests that they gave me before of creating our own list and setting it to empty for us to be able to do something later on, where I'm gonna say when a school is created, we are already gonna pass in students and teachers for our application. We have a add student, a add professor, but wouldn't it be nice if we also had a remove student and a remove professor? So I'm gonna come in here and just say def remove and here it's saying it removes student where we pass in a student where we remove the student from students so i'm going to press tab there and i'm going to do the exact same thing for professor so def remove professor already knows what i want i'm going to say tab and then i'm going to wait a second for self.professors.remove professor to show up and then i'll press tab again so we already created this entire application. I mean, 95% was just using Code Whisperer and us not typing it ourselves. We had the idea of what we wanted to create, and it's also super helpful that we have Python knowledge, but it's amazing how much time this saved using Code Whisperer to generate the code for us. Now, just to see if everything is right, I'm gonna create some unit tests inside our YT directory. So I'm gonna say new file, where I'm gonna call this test app dot pi. Now, the first thing we want to say from main import person. And now I want to say def test underscore person. And when you type in test person, it already knows that we want to test a person object that we're importing from our main.py file with assertions already created and assertions are what we use to test if a test is failing or passing. So I'm gonna say tab to just go ahead and accept everything. Now, one thing you might notice is that we are passing in a first name, a last name, and an age. If we check out the application, we can see right here that the person class only has a name and an age. So you have to be aware of how Code Whisper is working a little bit just to be able to validate if the generative code is correct or not. So what we can really do is just go ahead and remove that last name, change the first name to just normal name, and remove Doe inside. If we create a new terminal here and we type in PyTest, we can see that this test is successful and passes. And again, Code Whisper probably did 75% of the work there because I just changed some wording around. Let's now go ahead and test our student. So if we say def test underscore student, we can see that it wants to create a new student of John with the age of 30 in computer science as their major. Well, again, it's telling us a computer science major when our student really is the year. So I'm gonna say tab and I'm gonna change computer science to 2030 as that's the year that they graduate. I want to say student dot year equals 2030. And I also need to import student from main. All right, so let's go ahead and write PyTest again. And we just passed both of our tests using PyTest with again using Code Whisper as like 75% of the thinking behind scenes. All right, let's write two more tests, one for our professor and one for our university or school. So under here, I'm gonna make my terminal a little bit smaller. Here, we now want to go ahead and import our professor and let's go ahead and import our school. We can say def test, test professor, where if we wait a second, we can see that it's gonna be a professor of professor, where we pass in John again with the age of 30. And this time we're typing in CS as the subject. 
and I'm okay with that. So let's go ahead and do that and now type in PyTest. And now again, this is a reason you have to be super careful. Um, I can see that the test fails because we are looking for a department when the professor actually has a subject. So let's go ahead and just say professor.subject equals CS. Now if we run the pie test, we can see that it passes. All right, now one more, let's go ahead and write a test for our school. It already knows that we now probably want to write a test for our school. So we can say tab here, enter, and once it wants to say school equals school of UCLA, where we're testing the school name, if we go ahead and just say tab here, we can remove this assert.school, and now Code Whisper used our school wrong. It's not creating the right object. So if we go inside here and we say we don't want UCLA, let's now go ahead and press our option C, which makes Code Whisperer think. It still doesn't really know what we want. So let's go ahead and just type in students. And as you type in students, it now knows exactly what we want. We can press tab here and it'll say students of a array of students of John 30 and 23 and 2030, another another student of Jane 31 and 21, of Jane 31 and 2031, with professors also inside. So now if we go ahead and press enter, we can now assert this school. Let's make it a little easier for us to see. We can also say enter here and check the age of that student. And we can really just kind of go through here and let Code Whisper do its thing. All right, so this is doing a ton of assertions. Let's go ahead and reopen up our terminal. And let's go ahead and type in PyTest here. And we can see that our test is failing, but we can use Code Whisper to fix whatever's failing in our test, where we are getting an issue in our initialization of our test object because of the argument professors. And that's because in our code, all oh, this is, in our code we're looking for, we created professors, but we named them teachers. Interesting. So what we can do here is instead of saying we want to create professors, let's go ahead and just change this to teachers. And now if we go ahead and change all of these to teachers as well, And now we go ahead and say PyTest. We can see that everything passed successfully. All right, now that wraps up Code Whisper from Amazon. It seems like it's gonna be a fantastic product that's really going to be competitive with ChatGPT and Copilot as we move forward with generative AI, creating code and all of that stuff. So it's super exciting to be a part of IT and tech right now. So leave in the comments below what you think of Code Whisper, and I will see you in the next video.